Okay, let us start our afternoon session, the second session today. Let me declare open the session of this session council on the defense of thesis by Oshukhevich against Alexandrovich for the degree of candidate of physics and mathematics, academic specialty optics 010405 on the theme generation and storage of cluster states of light based on uh, modes with uh, orbital angular momentum. But the order St. Petersburg University dated the 7th of July 2020, number 68, 7, uh, 6475-1, uh, May Sokolov Alexander Ivanovich, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor of the Department of Quantum Mechanics of St. Petersburg University, was appointed Chairman of this Dissertation Council. Members of the Dissertation Council were appointed by the same order, and let me introduce them to you. Mashek Igorchislavich, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor of the General Physics Department of St. Petersburg University. Kazakov Alexander Yakovlevich, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor, Head of the Department of Higher Mathematics and Informatics of St. Petersburg State University of Industrial Technologies and Design. In the remote access mode, we have Sokolov Igor Mikhailovich, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor, Professor of the Higher Engineering Physical School of St. Petersburg Polytechnical University of Peter the Great. Can you see? Can you hear us? All is well. And Korolkova Natalia Vladimirovna, Professor of uh, Faculty of Physics and Astronomy of St. Andrews University, UK. Uh, Natalia Vladimirovna, can you hear? Can you see us? All is well. Excellent. The degree applicant Vashukevich Evgeny Alexandrovich is also present. Also, uh, here we have the academic advisor of the applicant, Golva Tatyanirna, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor of the General Physics Department of St. Petersburg University. To improve the quality of connection, I uh, kindly ask you, dear colleagues, to keep your microphones switched off. But please remember to switch them on when you're given the floor. Let me also inform you that our meeting is being recorded and broadcast online at St. Petersburg University website. And the speeches are being simultaneously translated from English or from English into Russian. During the broadcast of the Dissertation Council session, an email address is currently published at which all the listeners can express their opinions and send questions to the applicant online, uh, questions is, uh, regarding his thesis and the ongoing scientific discussion of his presentation. These questions shall be forwarded to me by our technical support department, and I shall read them during the discussion. Questions should be related to the applicant's presentation and the content of his thesis, and it's mandatory to indicate the name, position, and the place of employment of the author of the question. Questions that are not related to the scientific discussion, discussion of the thesis, the text and evaluation of the thesis shall not be presented. In accordance with the order of awarding the degree of Candidate of Science and Doctor of Science at St. Petersburg University, approved by the local regulations of St. Petersburg University, a session of the Decision Council is considered competent if at least two-thirds of, of the approved composition of the Decision Council take part in its work, but not less than four persons. Our dissertation council consists of five persons. All five uh, members are present, including two members in the remote interactive mode. All the members of the council have audiovisual contact and the degree applicant as well. Thus, we have the quorum and we can start. Let me set forth the following procedure of today's session with the approximate duration of two hours. First. The chairman summary report on the main content of documents submitted by the applicant and their compliance with the applicable regulations answers to possible questions. F approximately five minutes. Two, a brief presentation by the degree applicant outlining the key points of his research. Approximately 15 minutes or uh, as well uh, as the uh, earlier session, we gave more time to the degree applicant to make it uh, more comfortable and also for the translator. Three, questions to the applicant strictly on his report, not more than two minutes per question. Answers of the applicant, uh, no more than five minutes for all the questions. Five, 
speeches of all members of the dissertation council in turn with their assessment of the thesis and presentation of the applicant with a summary of the opinions, questions, and suggestions to the applicant. No more than 10 minutes for each speaker. The speech of the chairman and his review, also approximately 10 minutes. Answers of the applicant to questions and remarks uh, made by members of the council. No more than 20 minutes. Eight, open discussion speeches uh, of those present at the session with a summary of their positions and or specific questions and suggestions to the author, strictly on the to topic of the study, not more than two minutes for each speaker. And that all the speakers are kindly requested to register in the registration sheet uh, and to fully introduce themselves before speaking. Nine, presentation by the chairman of questions to the applicant came uh, during the discussion of his presentation and the discussion during the broadcast of the council session at St. Petersburg University website. Final answers of the applicant to questions asked not more than two minutes. 11. Speech of the applicant's academic advisor, no more than three minutes. 12. Discussion by members of the decision council before the open voting of the results of the defense, during which the sound shall be switched off. We have about five minutes for that. 13. Open individual voting. The chairman of the council should count the votes and the results shall be recorded in the minutes of the meeting. A decision on awarding or not awarding to the academic degree to the applicant. And finally, closing remarks of the applicant, no more than two minutes. Dear colleagues, do you have any questions or objections to this procedure? I think there are no questions. If we have no questions, let us start running the procedure. But uh, please remember to switch off your mobile phones. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, let me let us start today's session. Today, uh, the thesis by Vashukai Shukin Alexander for the degree of Canada Physics and Mathematics, Academic Specialty 010405 Optics, on the theme. Generation and storage of cluster states of light based on modes with orbital angular momentum was submitted for defense by the order of academic secretary of St. Petersburg University on the 6th of July 2020, number 6454-1. Vashukovich again wrote his thesis at St. Petersburg University under the guidance of Doctor of Physics and Mathematics Professor of the General Physics Department 1 of St. Petersburg University, Golubeva Tatiana Yurivna. Number of publications which outline uh, the key points of the thesis according to the provided list is five. In uh, peer reviewed journals from the list approved by the Ministry of Education, Russian Federation, no publications. In uh, journals indexed in the scientometric databases, websites, and scopus, five publications. The applicant submitted to the academic secretary of the university full package of, document, of documents. All the lists, all the documents comply uh, with uh, Article 12 of Section 3 of the order. All the documents submitted by the applicant according to the information received from the curator comply with the requirements and are kept in the applicant's attestation file. Copies are available for the officer of the decision council support department who is present at the session. Before we give the floor to the degree applicant, do you, dear council members, have any questions about the documents submitted by the applicant? And is it necessary to review the entire list of documents submitted by the applicant? I think there are no questions. All is well. Well, uh, summary report of the degree applicant, Evgeny Alexandrovich, you have the floor. Dear council members, dear guests, my name is Vashukevich Evgeny Alexandrovich, and uh, I would like to present to you my thesis for the degree of candidate of physics and mathematics on generation and storage of cluster states of light based on the modes with orbital angular momentum. The thesis was carried out under the guidance of Tatiana Yurna Golube at the Department of General Physics 1 of St. Petersburg University. Well, we chose quantum light with orbital angular momentum as the object of our study for several reasons. First, uh, as we know, orbital angular momentum can take any inter, inter, inter values, which gives the opportunity to work with essentially multiple quantum fields and use them to generate cluster states 
of which are of all, all, all quantum calculations and can be used in uh, quantum protocols, uh, multidimensional uh, sub-protocols, uh, increase level of uh, line security. And finally, bundles possessing OAM are highly resistant to propagation in turbulent atmosphere and already widely used in telecommunications. They, we set ourselves the purpose to study methods of generation of multimode quantum fields with OAM and develop effective protocols for preservation and conservation of such fields. The work consists of a literature overview and four original chapters. And I would like to introduce uh, the, the basic concepts. And so I will pay some attention to this over overview. First, I'd like to say that uh, the uh, orbital angular momentum appears with well, a Lager Gauss modes uh, exponential, uh, where L is uh, projection of OAM on propagation axis it can uh, take any integer values. The figure shows uh, constant phases of uh, Lager Gauss modes and corresponding cross-sectional profile. And another important aspect is uh, one-way computing, but I will not uh, uh, dwell on it, as it was uh, fully disclosed by my colleague and friend Sergey Korolev in the previous defense session. And finally, another important aspect of my work uh, concerns quantum memory to study the Raman quantum memory protocol as a basis, uh, which includes three stages. At the first stage, which is commonly referred to as a record, control and signal fields interact with the ensemble of three levels of atom. Uh, in our case, we consider uh, called three level atoms. And uh, the during the uh, f photons of signal field between the lower and uh, spin coherence is uh, formed. Uh, the uh, quantum field information is recorded, and since this information uh, lives long, uh, we can store information about the quantum field. And the final stage is reading. Uh, when we send control field into memory cell, and uh, through a reverse process, we restore information about the signal field, destroying coherence. Uh, let us proceed uh, to the thesis, is the contents of the thesis. Speaking of generation of uh, multi entangled states, uh, we studied the following uh, problem. A crystal with a uh, providing phase synchronous of the first type placed in a spherical cavity uh, with modes, of full sets of Lager Gauss. And the main feature of this system is a we used a complex two component pumping. The system is pumped with uh, two uh, Lager Gauss beams. The cavity supports the modes AL born in the process of uh, uh, parametric scattering uh, uh, by orbital momentum. <coughs> At that, uh, co communication constants are proportional to the uh, overlapping of Lager Gaussian functions. And since we needed to provide the most efficient generation of several modes with OAM, so we used such parameters as relation of uh, waste width uh, 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 of R. So using such R value to ensure maximum cons uh, several con uh, constant constants. So we built a system of uh, Heisenberg-Langevin equations for signal and blank bulb. And the difficulty is that the uh, system consists of infinite number of equations. And somehow to solve that, we need to cut the system 
from the uh, starting with some number k. Uh, the very type of equation hints us at presence of correlations in the mode pairs. For example, uh, the photon with uh, plus one index uh, when scattered photon pairs with modes of uh, plus one, uh, plus two, plus three can be born according to the law. Such photons are marked in red. Photon uh, mode pairs born in dispersal with uh, minus one are shown in blue. So as uh, we can generate such, the system generates such a, cluster, a, co a complex cluster state. Here we want to limit uh, ourselves to uh, considering five modes and cut the equation systems by changing experimental conditions of generation. Uh, for example, we want for mode with uh, index 3 uh, to ensure quick relaxation as gamma 3 uh, than other uh, constants of the system. Uh, s these we studied, experienced, and uh, you can see this link. The method is based on uh, 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 holograms for selection of modes with uh, uh, OAM. Uh, so we um, uh, described proposition one of the th this is uh, with a complex two component pumping, a complex multi partite entangled state of signal and blank modes is generated. However, analysis shows that. Uh, the cluster shown above is not good from the point of uh, computation, computing because the connections between modes are quite weak and the power of nullifier is high. So we set ourselves the task to find the optimal basis for construction of uh, cluster states on the, uh, on the basis of OAM modes. For that, we used a technique <coughs> Uh, the link to which is uh, shown here. So we, um, as a, uh, on the uh, frequency comb, uh, we, as was shown, the emission of the output of the optical parameter can be described either as a set of entangled states in the basis of individual modes with different frequencies or so, uh, orbital angular momentum or as a set of un uncorrelated compressed states in the basis of the M matrix eigenvectors. Since we are considering a finite number of modes, we can diagonalize matrix M and find our own numbers and own modes of the system. Uh, the analysis of uh, quadrature fluctuations in super modes, which we call super modes, shows that uh, zero eigen uh, frequency corresponds to super mode S1 in vacuum state, uh, regardless of uh, pumping uh, parameter. And uh, this cluster state can only worsen quality of uh, generated cluster. So we excluded it from consideration. Modes S4 and S5 as you can see in this uh, e equation, fluctuations in these modes uh, are almost completely suppressed and compression uh, tends to perfect. Uh, modes S2 and S3 are not perfectly compressed, even at the generation threshold, because modes 4 and 5 reach the uh, threshold earlier. And we cannot increase the pumping parameters as we will uh, exit the south threshold mode. So these modes are uh, not perfectly compressed. So we uh, substantiated uh, pr provision two, the number of true quantum degrees of freedom used in the construction of multi partite entangled state is less than the number of conceded modes with OAM participated in the process of generation. We will construct a linear cluster state from supermodes uh, S2, S3, uh, S4, and S5 uh, as follows. Uh, supermodes compressed in X and Y quadrature alternatively and are not entangled. When obtaining cluster state, uh, we need to entangle them in a certain way. This can lead to unitary transformation. Uh, matrix of such transformation can be found uh, through adjacency matrix of graph V 
uh, which defines the configuration of the cluster state. Uh, for analysis of generated cluster, we use a separability criteria of Luca for a Saba. In our case, this criterion states that the state is a cluster if the sum of root mean square fluctuations of nullifiers of neighboring nodes of the cluster is less than one. This uh, figure shows on the left that the constructed uh, state is a four-mode linear cluster with a wide range of uh, parameter values. Uh, it's also interesting to uh, trace uh, 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 scheme parameters of waste width of the signal to uh, pumping width. On the right, you may see the same values, nullifier with R equals 1. And, and as you may see, the threshold value is was minus uh, 11 dB at 1. The power uh, reaches minus 16 dB, which is considerably higher. Thus, we come to uh, Proposition 3. Transition to the base of Hamilton system uh, allows us to construct a cluster state of light with a high degree of entanglement between nodes. The theoretical power threshold of the quadrature uh, uh, is minus 16 dB. Further, we will consider uh, protocols of uh, on the basis of quantum memory. And uh, we shall consider the interaction of the classical uh, with uh, called atom ensemble and uh, slowly circumventing, uh, we shall represent as a full set of modes of Lagergauss. Uh, the uh, dipole approximation and rotational wave approximation, the Hamiltonian is recorded as follows. Here we neglect, uh, neglect uh, the effects in the system, and we can record uh, which correspond to the true experimental parameters. And with these approximations and the standard approaches of quantum memory allowed us to build a system of, equa of Heisenberg equations and to isolate subsystems that uh, function independently. And an important feature is that modes with different OAMs are uh, uh, recorded as A here are co uh, of uh, spatial model modes BL and CL and considering this uh, we can give meaning to this uh, to destruction operators in spin coherence modes with a certain OAM so we can solve this system of equations and uh, write a uh, impression for spin coherence in the atomic ensemble. Uh, and it's important to know that the n core of transformation is, uh, do not depend and uh, coincide with what was described in the literature using also an expression for field recovered from a memory cell. We can write uh, the complete memory cycle and prove proposition four in a protocol of Raman memory. If it is possible to specify specific condition and realistic parameters of the system, evolve independently, which demonstrate high storage efficiency. And now let us turn to the question of field transformation from OAM to memory cell. If we want to change the profile of control fields at the stages of writing and reading, uh, now we assume that uh, uh, represent Lagergaus uh, Gaussian mode. Uh, in this case, we managed to build a closed system of equations uh, of uh, the control field. And to ensure this uh, of a level of modes, we consider such a geometry of the fields that the uh, waste width uh, are separated by the value ZS, which uh, allows to uh, 
vary the beam surface. Uh, the system of equations is different from the uh, storage case. Here, modes interact not with uh, uh, spin coherence mode, but modes with shifted index L minus M, where L equals I or J, depending. It depends. Uh, we can write the full transformation of the memory cycle uh, as we transform the uh, OEM of quantum field in the uh, memory protocol, uh, which proves proposition, confirms proposition for the choice of different control fields OEM at the stage of reading leads to the transform of the quantum state of the signal to a spatial module different from the original OEM of this signal. The efficiency of this transformation depends on two important factors. Uh, the core of the full memory circle studied in the work, the reference to which is given here, and from the uh, integral coefficient and uh, the impact of this in, uh, coefficient we want to explore. Uh, from uh, CL, we may see that at each stage, transformation is, is worsened. Uh, the coefficient is by, uh, interaction constant. To change this, we uh, conducted transformation only at one stage. And at the second stage, uh, we conducted reading of flat wave. And on these figures, you may see dependency uh, from uh, no uh, standardized shift of uh, waste width in transformation of field to plus one and minus one. It should be noted that uh, every each curve has a maximum corresponding to some values at S, uh, which enables to conduct transformations of any orbital angular momentum of the uh, 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 by one can be performed with high efficiency. The second important factor is that uh, every pair of curves has an intersection point, and at this point, the transformation of modes with different OEMs will pass with the same efficiency, which makes it possible to transform the unknown uh, superposition. And at that, I would like to finish. And the last slides show my publications and testing of my work. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Now, uh, we may ask questions uh, about the thesis and the presentation, if any. If one Vadimovich Sokolov, Ivan Vadimovich, Professor of the General Physics Department 1 of St. Petersburg University. The modes with different angular momentum have different diffraction uh, convergence, so they disperse differently. This difference of dif in diffraction in your approximations, does it work? Uh, different uh, diffraction diffractions uh, is true about uh, pumping waves and signal waves. How does it affect uh, your relations of efficiency? Thank you for this question. We, in this, in our approximations, we consider that uh, relay radius and pumping beam and uh, signal beam is much bigger than the length of interaction. So we uh, diffraction effects we neglected. So in your approximations, this factor is uh, unimportant. Yes, that is true. More questions, please. I have a question. Please go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Please go ahead. So you limited yourself to five modes in your task. What can you say if you used more modes? Would your predictions 
change. Thank you for this question. If uh, generation or in generation of cluster states considered more modes, uh, if you remember even among five modes, uh, we found that two reach generation threshold and uh, two are uh, imperfectly compressed. So if we considered greater number of modes, we would would take us into a situation where additional modes would not be compressed perfectly. So it's a question of what we want to achieve. If we want to build, construct a multi-dimensional, multi-dimensional cluster states, but the degree of compression in the modes will be far from perfect. So we limited ourselves to five modes because it was necessary to construct a four-mode linear state that would guarantee universal set of uh, transformations. Is this connected with the method of, uh, I'm sorry, I missed your question. Uh, could you please uh, talk into them? This drawback is connected with the method of generation that you are, have investigated and with a different generation method, this drawback will not occur or there are essential drawbacks which uh, interfere, do not allow to use this. This is a rather a difficult question uh, with the same generation method on the basis of optical frictionally combo uh, we could see much fewer compressed modes so from some point of view the number of modes that we can use is smaller then the number of initially considered modes is a uh, is a feature of the system. Thank you. Uh, more questions. Natalia Vladimirovna has a question. Can you hear me? I have maybe an unexpected question. Uh, in principle, you have very interesting intersections with the, uh, with the work of Sergei Korolev. If we look at slide number nine, uh, you obtain cluster states from four compressed beams. Uh, have you tried to use the results of his work in your work to determine what will be the optimal how can you manage this compression, control this compression? It will be interesting to apply his results here to find out what would be the optimum compression to generate your cluster states or if you have only specific uh, possibility for compression, what will be the most attractive state? And as a part of this question, uh, what surprised me here is that uh, will be different while his results prove that uh, similar compression is uh, leads to smaller number of errors. Can you comment on this somehow? Uh, as for applying Sergei Korolov's results in our work, uh, already we did what uh, considering his results uh, speaking of different compression of oscillators in Sergei's work uh, it was demonstrated that the demands to compression of oscillators depend on the number of connections uh, the uh, modes uh, with uh, more compressed modes we put in the center and uh, less compressed modes modes we put on the side on the sides as for compression in the system here it is 
something Sergei called the source of maximum compression uh, in our system. Two modes are comp- in our system are compressed to the maximum, and the rest uh, are just simply compressed as best as we could. So we cannot vary that. But if we could achieve equally compressed oscillators, we would use them. Thank you very much for your good answer. More questions? I see there are no more questions regarding the presentation. Next, I have to give the floor to, I have to present the reviews. And we shall start with external reviews, if any. Uh, there is an external review um, uh, from Sergei Andreevich Moiseev, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Director of uh, Quantum Center of Kazan at Kazan National University, named after Tupolev. The uh, review is short, so I'll ju- I will just read it. The problem of quantum computational devices to uh, process and uh, t- transfer information uh, draws Uh, lots of attention for almost a quarter of a decade. In the past decades, these works resulted in development of quantum informatics and uh, quantum advantages of the classical analogs. Major role is played by quantum optics and uh, quantum technologies based on it. The study of multi-mode light fields is very interesting to uh, create uh, more powerful quantum technology for uh, information transfer, use of uh, the potential for generation of entangled quantum states of light fields. At the same time, implementation of universal quantum qu- is quantum memory. It is necess- necessary for storage of uh, quantum uh, oper- operations. Uh, Despite uh, theoretical achievements of quantum memory in the uh, past two decades, uh, practically significant uh, is still a difficult uh, task, which stimulates new research in the search of more appropriate uh, carriers of quantum information, uh, better protocols of uh, quantum memory that can be used for multi-mode media and fields. Because of that, the uh, thesis by Vashukevich of Gennady Alexandrovich dedicated to the study of generation of multi uh, states, uh, states of light and storing them in quantum memory is a relevant uh, study of quantum op- optics. And uh, uh, the practical significance of the work is that the thesis suggests, uh, theoretically explains, uh, generation protocols, storage and transformation of multimode light with orbital momentum, and discusses experimental conditions for high efficient uh, implementation. I think that the results demonstrate great potential of these protocols with the existing and developed quantum calculation cryptographic schemes, which certainly uh, 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 creates interests, interest. The thesis by, uh, in his thesis, Evgeny Vashukevich used a uh, wide set of tools. The results published in five articles in peer-reviewed journals. The results of the thesis were presented at a number of international conferences, quite well known to experts in quantum uh, optics and technology, which uh, uh, proves and I think as uh, validity of the, the of the of provisions proposed for defense. To sum it up, scientific de- results achieved by the applicant r- deserve high scientific assessment and uh, corresponds to all the requirements on the order of awarding academic degree uh, degree of candidate of physics and mathematics, specialty zero one zero four zero five optics. And Vashukevich Gerasanj deserves awarding the, the desired degree of candidate of physics and mathematics, specialty 010405 optics. Sergei Andreevich Moiseev, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor, Director of Kazan Quantum Center. Uh, this uh, review uh, has no questions, no critical remarks. Uh, Natalia Vladimirovna got offline. So we, I don't know, she's back. She's back, all is well. Excellent. Then uh, let us 
give the floor. Let me give the floor to the council members. And uh, so, uh, the, since all the reviews were published at the university website, uh, I suggest that you read uh, only the key points, questions, and co critical comments. If you have no objections, let us uh, stick to this scenario. Uh, first, I'd like to give the floor to Igor Shislavovich. I think I will uh, share everybody's opinion that uh, this, the, I really like the work. Uh, its relevance is obvious. Uh, interruption resistant communication methods with the application of such type of light. The practical significance is also obvi obvious. And, and uh, next, I have the uh, descriptive part, which is uh, very common uh, as a traditional co small question, the pumping of uh, a laser medium. Uh, will you use it? Uh, uh, orbital angular momentum plus one uh, uh, minus one. Uh, can uh, the pumping be, be done with uh, easier methods, or maybe only with plus one, or maybe plus two, plus three? Uh, why have you chosen minus one plus one? I uh, have some ideas, but uh, it will be interesting. And in conclusion, uh, the work is significant for development of the above mentioned applications and uh, formally it corresponds to all the requirements all the orders and regulations and the degree applicant certainly deserves uh, obviously to be awarded the degree of candidate of physics and mathematics specialty optics 010405 thank you thank you to answer your question, Igor Cheslavovich, uh, we selected this structure, pumping structure for several reasons. If we used only one mode instead of two, as you can see in this uh, figure, you can see here that uh, only uh, linked photon pairs are born if we use so there is no connected cluster uh, but a set of transition states if we use pumping with a different momentum for example two or three plus two uh, plus two minus two plus three mi minus three then as you know the uh, scattering process occurs uh, with uh, preservation of the orbital uh, angular momentum. Uh, we can construct and when uh, n equals 2, we get two non-connected uh, chains uh, and separate. We have multi-partite state with uh, odd in Indice indices and the plus one minus one uh, such consecutive entanglement does not occur uh, for uh, plus three the number of chains uh, so it is possible but inconvenient thank you very much that's all I think I think so yes. Then let us proceed to the next review. Kazakov Alexander Yakovlevich. Uh, good afternoon, dear colleagues. Uh, the uh, descriptive part I will drop. The final part I agree with my colleagues, but I have a number of uh, remarks. This is number five, so I will not ask it again. Uh, as for my so then I have two more remarks. The first remark is the second rem My second remark is the study of light modes with OAM was motivated by the possibility of obtaining and using large 
number of degrees of freedom in quantum protocols. And we saw in this regard, we saw the that number was four. And so we'd like to see a uh, more detailed comparison of your results with the results uh, obtained with other approach uh, with other in standard approaches and the second uh, comment uh, the in this structure what is significant for this structure uh, or for a construction of memory cell is the longitudinal size of memory cell and uh, your memory cell is much smaller than the longitudinal longitudinal size uh, generally speaking, the smaller this longitudinal s cell is, uh, the uh, lower is the efficiency of all actions. So this uh, relation uh, uh, is missing. That is why I have a question. Why uh, you uh, excluded this parameter from your discussion? Uh, please explain this. Thank you. As for, for uh, let me start with uh, about number five, you have already answered. The comparison of our approach with uh, the standard approaches, there are two essentially different approaches to organization of quantum uh, com uh, computations. Uh, in the first approach, we generate many single mode or single photon states uh, which we entangle with each other as was uh, as was done in this work and here we run into problems first of all we need many uh, single photon sources correlated and for entangling uh, modes uh, or linear optics. We need full synchronization of time and space components, which at present uh, is a challenging task. That's what uh, Korolev, uh, what we are doing. So we prefer the second approach. Uh, we try to construct high dimensional uh, states and as you can see uh, there are problems with efficient generation uh, and variables some variables which uh, I, I p conducted some works with a com combo so we try to uh, show advantages and disadvantages so that was a discussion of uh, an alternative solution. Am I right? Yes. Yes. And the second, and what about my second question? And about the second question of L parameter, the assumption that L is much smaller than ZR uh, does not apply to our selection of cell length, the cell length L. Uh, we assume it is sufficient for efficient recording of the quantum signal for the uh, transformation to be close to one. The uh, diffraction limitation uh, guides us to uh, re uh, radius uh, relay beams. Uh, we uh, should the, this radi radius should be much bigger than interaction as a parameter it is present in the uh, memory core. Uh, it was selected, so the signal is recorded without any losses. This ZR uh, should be uh, selected. We should select that R, which is much greater than L. Uh, do you have any assumptions about this L? Uh, you, apart from, we're talking about efficiency we compare with one so we have to say something about this l so we uh, evaluated 
Here is this evaluation when uh, selecting ZR, uh, approximately 10 micrometers, the memory cell should be uh, at least one order smaller. And uh, we have uh, reviewed some experimental articles. It, this technology seems to be available. Uh, exact L measurements we don't have. Uh, I want to give my concern by killing L, we kill the uh, entire process. So here we, uh, you should stick to our logic. We select L and then we work with a, a beam relay radius. Thank you. Are you satisfied with the answers? Yes, you are. Thank you. Then let us proceed to the next review of uh, Natalia Vladimirovna Korolkova. Can you hear us? I would like to join the opinion uh, of my colleagues that this is a very interesting work where the use of angular momentum is attractive to for use in cryptographic tasks and from uh, I have a number of questions and comments one question uh, you have already answered about uh, plus minus one I wanted to say one thing here you said that you see as a negative situation plus minus two plus minus three you get several separate uh, s uh, small clusters that are not connected to each other so maybe maybe that will not work but I think it would be an interesting idea of course we, here we're talking about uh, constructing large cluster states and since it's hard to achieve to pre pre preserve coherency in large clusters, the use of small, uh, lots of small clusters, as Helsing works on uh, uh, computers, it is used. So maybe it makes sense to dedicate some time if. Uh, naturally you get several clusters so maybe that can be used somehow my second question is in your work is very interesting is uh, in experimental uh, discretization process so it will be interesting to learn uh, how your cluster description in the experiments what would be what will be the main limiting uh, component and to avoid so you said you selected two states or maxima maximally compressed and configured the results and uh, so I have a question Maybe it would be better not to uh, have two uh, maximally compressed, but uh, compress all the, uh, equally. Uh, so have you considered this uh, situation? And the last question, I liked very much your works with memory. Uh, and so, so this is a very interesting work. And uh, maybe, uh, do you know if anyone wanted to uh, make any tests based on the basis of your work? So it's transformation of states. You said that the signal filled uh, states can be recorded, but I'm sure you considered this. Uh, what exact uh, transformations may do you know any any work so how it, it, this can be used uh, and in general this is an outstanding work I congratulate you and it was very interesting for me to read it thank you and 
Uh, as for the uh, question uh, regarding limit experimental limitations on uh, the state sizes, the critical factor, the quality of compression and size is naturally will be the uh, communication constants because as you can see for momentum starting number four the communication constants uh, get smaller by an order which uh, makes generation of such modes dif difficult this is the first limiting factor the second in the real experiment the system will be very sensitive uh, collinear uh, mode, uh, collinear synchronism, and uh, if there is no, uh, is not, it's not synchronized. If beams uh, uh, scatter, uh, that will lead to unwanted uh, additions, and that will worsen the entire system because uh, that's a phase thing and this, those scattering additions will be critical. As for the use of our compressed states, you see we cannot in a sense uh, compress all oscillators evenly, all of the four modes we have considered they depend on the same uh, pumping parameter when we reach the threshold we cannot uh, do anything about it we can change coefficients but uh, equally compressed oscillators we cannot produce as for the use in uh, as for using small clusters instead this will uh, this is certainly a good way out. This could be a way out, as uh, Sergei has shown. Uh, in some situations, this strategy is effective, uh, but we set ourselves the task uh, to create a multi-mode, uh, not a set of small modes. As for uh, coming back to transformations, uh, the experiments, as far as I know, have not been conducted and will be very uh, happy to any cooperation here and transformations in principle to up to a certain degree can be any. Uh, we may choose the control fills with uh, momentum uh, two, three, or four, and transformations will correspond to transformation of the orbital momentum of the field, uh, large transformations by uh, large with large values. Certainly, uh, the quality will be low, but this can be additionally constructed and analyzed uh, using uh, these uh, transformations. The first idea was to use this transformation as a single mode gate for uh, computation. There is a method. Uh, when, with the help of uh, OAM states, uh, qubits are coded, the even and odd, and our transformation of the of, is a is a single mode gate. And then, in all in telecommunication, it's necessary to change the signal profile. This can also be useful. Thank you. I'm uh, very satisfied with your ans with the answers. Uh, next review by Igor Mikhailovich Sokolov. I really liked the work and the. Uh, can you please speak into the microphone? Move a little bit closer to the microphone. I. W was very impressed by your systematic, good systematic approach. You have explored various aspects of, of using OAM field cluster state preparation, uh, preservation, and uh, controlling these these states 
full set of works. Uh, very good. You have a very good literature overview, level of publications. Uh, the work was well tested, and I think the uh, applicant certainly deserves awarding the degree. As for critical remarks and questions, I have uh, not uh, criticism but suggestions to the applicant. Uh, e experimentators, they like when real factors are uh, uh, considered. So my uh, uh, suggestions are to consider real factors called atoms. Uh, there's no spatial homogeneity, homogeneity different. Uh, how will this uh, be manifested? Uh, I uh, got this question uh, during your presentation. Uh, this may, uh, when you manipulate the reading and rec when writing and recording is performed by different beams, then this uh, can there can be some impact. Uh, my second suggestion is from lambda scheme. Yes, indeed, uh, with lambda scheme, it is well known that. Uh, this can also uh, show. And finally, uh, third point is related to relation of waste width uh, of two ones. So you have described these two cases. But since there is some relation and physically the condition is non-trivial. It's interesting to analyze it in detail. Is it uh, mon mon monotonic uh, to ex study it in more detail? Uh, uh, did you hear me well? Uh, yes, thank you. And once again, uh, these are only suggestions. This is an excellent thesis. Thank you. I have some comments, maybe, uh, regarding the, ex uh, the real experimental conditions. Uh, as for heterogeneity of the space, we thought that a separate study in this field uh, would be uh, uh, would would not be sufficiently justified because uh, when an optical trap occurs, atoms are non not distributed evenly. This is something something with uh, cylindrical symmetry. Since our beams also have a cylindrical c cylindric symmetry, uh, we uh, we are not talking about interaction of the mode with the in, uh, in complete ensemble at the same time. We're talking about interaction within the rim, and of course uh, it will be heterogeneous, and we should uh, be aware of it. But this impact will be uh, smaller than the uh, whole ensemble. Uh, thank you for this comment. Of course, it's necessary to consider this, but its impact will not be as critical as it may seem in the beginning. As for uh, multi, the use of multi-level systems, indeed, uh, we have considered uh, an idealized scheme, but there are some works uh, exploring the impact of uh, um, multi-level uh, on uh, memory efficiency. And we think that uh, analysis applied to uh, this analysis applied to our memory protocol. Uh, we demonstrated, for example, that for cesium atom in uh, magneto magnetic trap, this impact is such that uh, memory efficiency remains quite high, approximately 60%. And we think that such analysis for our memory also works. 
Uh, there are no critical differences uh, that, uh, to separate our protocol. And as for your last comment, thank you. That is an interesting suggestion. And uh, uh, I have been thinking on my answer uh, for a very long time. Uh, we have considered only two values of constants and the impact of our parameter on the quality of cluster state uh, is uh, uh, two-sided. On the one hand, it changes the balance between different constructs and shifts the threshold. On the other hand, it shifts the uh, fluctuation values themselves. Unfortunately, the detailed analysis of this impact on uh, nullifier fluctuation is a non-trivial study and uh, we will be happy to do it in the future. But here, uh, one should consider that we cannot deviate too far from the uh, range uh, one root of square root of two, because then uh, with uh, high R or small R, efficient generation efficiency uh, will decline too much, and we need to maintain it on a high level. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I, yes, I am satisfied with the answer. And the final review is mine. I will not read it. I agree with uh, all the other speakers. Uh, this uh, work is not only very timely, it's timely not only because uh, it's, uh, it's, it's work in the sphere of quantum information science, but uh, 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 angular photon, angular momentum. This uh, sphere or this light, this uh, uh, type of physics is developing very quickly now. It's quantum information science, and in that sense, uh, relevance is uh, relevance doubles. I uh, all the all my, my words are uh, true. I support the work. The work is very well written. In addition to that, and I only have maybe one comment, and so let me read this as a suggestion. Uh, the author considers the process of generating a photo linear cluster. It would be natural to provide a, an explanation for why this type of cluster is chosen and to clarify uh, whether other cluster structures can be generated using the same scheme. And before I give the floor to the uh, author to answer this suggestion, I'd like to say that I I believe that uh, Evgeny Alexandrovich certainly deserves awarding the degree. Uh, the thesis corresponds to all the requir applicable requirements. Welcome. Thank you very much for your comment. Uh, well, why have we chosen this type of cluster? Here there are two uh, significant factors, a four-mode cluster. We selected because uh, four uh, modes is a is a minimum number, and a linear cluster was uh, chosen because, as I, uh, Sergey demonstrated in his work, uh, there are requirements to uh, minimum compression of oscillators depending on the number of neighbors by cluster state, depending on the number of uh, connections. And uh, the linear configuration thus is uh, a configuration with a minimum number of neighbors. Uh, it's less demanding on the initial compression of oscillators. So we uh, were uh, concerned with this. Generating other cluster structures is possible, but uh, one should understand when increasing the number of connections, uh, we shall sacrifice quality. Uh, I don't know if this uh, sacrifice will be critical. We need to explore this. Thank you very much. At that, uh, all the at this point, all the members of the decision council have spoken. And I have to ask a formal question, dear colleagues. Uh, are you all satisfied with Gini Alexandrovich's answers? Uh, everybody is okay, uh, very well. Then uh, I invite uh, all the listeners, all the attendees, 
If anyone wants to ask any questions or has any suggestions, wants to give his opinion, please go ahead. If no one is willing to speak, let me read a question we received by email. Uh, Tikhonov Kirill Sergeyevich, Associate Professor of the General Physics Department of the Faculty of Physics of our university. The question is how the optical thickness uh, impacts on the uh, uh, cluster state on the number of nodes in a uh, cluster state and uh, what, which optical width uh, you used in your calculations uh, with kind regards. Thank you, Cyril for an interesting question. As for cluster state generation, we work with uh, uh, parameter uh, scattering. So maybe I don't understand the question about the optical width, uh, the critical uh, the uh, on number of modes, the quality of cluster is such uh, parameters as uh, uh, the uh, interaction constants and uh, synchronization. Thank you. Uh, so you answered the, this question. Now let us give the floor to uh, the academic advisor, Dia Tatiana Yurivna. The floor is yours. Thank you. I first of all, I would like to say that uh, Genia joined our laboratory three years ago, and uh, I find it hard to believe from uh, department molecular biophysics department. He knew nothing about optics. Uh, he never took any courses in quantum op optics. Uh, he never took any theoretical courses uh, in so he managed in uh, he managed to master the in uh, entire uh, he's not afraid of any task uh, he's very brave he approached tasks that people with more experience would never dare to approach and that is why he succeeded and I am very glad that he managed even one year ahead of his uh, to defend his thesis. So he not only mastered, but he wrote an excellent uh, paper. And his uh, publications in physical uh, review are uh, very good. Also, I'd like to say that Genier is a natural born teacher, uh, which you could uh, see in his presentation and uh, in his speech and uh, the way he uh, feels uh, his feeling now and uh, to all of us it was very useful because uh, he worked a lot with our uh, young students and one more thing since you will not no, you're not going <laughs> to give me uh, the floor to me i wanted to give big thanks uh, to the reviewers who considerably influenced this defense session and set the tone of the session and asked questions uh, which stimulated new directions for research and this is very valuable so thank you very much for your efforts and for your interest uh, thank you Yurovna. now uh, let us go back uh, to the formal procedure since our session is held some of the sessions are working the remote access mode do you, council members and the degree applicant, have any unanswered questions connected with uh, uh, the remote mode procedure? If you have any questions, uh, everybody's fine. Everybody's doing well. OK, now I have a question to the council members. Dear colleagues, now we have the opportunity before we vote to, t uh, to take a, a break for a private discussion. Do we need this private discussion? 
uh, our colleagues uh, see no uh, say this, are saying there is no need for this. So we sh we are not going to do this. So now let us proceed to voting. Before voting, I have to test once again those working in the remote access mode, if you can uh, see and hear each other well. So all is well. That's very good. Now let me put the question of awarding Tavashukevich Evgeny Alexandrovich the degree of candidate of physics and mathematics, academic specialty 010405 optics. Uh, the question to open individual vote. Let me remind you that the decision of the Station Council on awarding academic degrees is considered uh, positive if more than a half, but n uh, not uh, no less than three members of the Station Council present at the session voted for it according to Article 23 of uh, uh, the order of awarding academic degrees. Let us start. Uh, Mashek uh, Igor Cheslavich, your opinion? I am for. Kazakov Alexander Yakovlevich, your opinion? For. Please uh, switch your microphones on. Uh, Igor Mikhailovich Sokolov, your opinion? I am for avoiding. Natalia Vdimna Korolkova, your opinion? For. I am also, uh, let me join uh, my the opinion of my colleagues. Uh, now let me count the votes and announce the results. Dear colleagues and guests, let me announce that out of five Council members uh, present, five voted for, no one voted against, and no one abstained. The decision to award the Vashukevich Vladimirovich academic degree of candidate of physics and mathematics, uh, academic specialty 010405 optics, has been made. Uh, once again, a formal question, dear colleagues, since our session is held in the remote access mode, do council members or degree applicant or other attendees have any questions or comments regarding the procedure? I have to ask everybody this question. Do you have any questions? Please say yes or no. Uh, everyone is shaking. Uh, everybody is shaking his head. Very well. And uh, the final point, uh, last by one, the closing remarks of the applicant, Evgeny Alexandrovich. I'd like to sincerely thank members of the Decision Council and guests for taking part in this session and for uh, giving me this opportunity to be here today. Uh, also, I wanted to thank my academic advisor, Tatiana Yurevna, for her trust. I would never accept uh, a man from nowhere as a, a doctoral student and for all uh, the knowledge uh, that I have. Uh, I am grateful to uh, largely to Tatiana Yurevna. Also, I'd like to thank uh, Golubev and Sokolov and all the uh, employees of the General Physics Department for setting uh, the mark very high. And um, I've been trying uh, all the time to climb high and higher. And the uh, major role here uh, belongs to my family. And sometimes uh, by their interference and non-interference, I am very grateful for their patience and uh, trust. Thank you. Thank you. We congratulate you. Thank you. Our session is finished.